you know, LeBron James, I think LeBron James got into it too. Uh, there's people in China. If y'all didn't know, China is a communist uh, type of, uh, type of uh, uh, government. And, um, you know, um, they want they they want they democracy. All right. They want their democracy. They sitting they sitting around tired of being bullied uh, into things they really don't want to do. They want to be able to have, to have freedom of speech and stuff like that. And they've been fighting over there and going crazy, you know, doing their thing for like the past few months. That's what I've been seeing. And I've been seeing police getting beat up. I've been seeing civilians getting shot. All kind of stuff, man. And LeBron James, if y'all didn't know, uh, a GM of the Houston Rockets kind of came out and spoke against the government of China. And when he did that, uh, they asked LeBron James, um, you know, how did he feel about the GM's comments uh, towards the government um, of, of China. And that was when LeBron was on the way and the whole team was on the way to go play the Nets. And they were going to meet each other, go play in China. And LeBron pretty much said, well, he's not really educated. Uh, I think he needs to take a look at what he really said. Uh, uh, and that's about it. Uh, he need to he need to start reading up on stuff because he's uneducated. But not understanding that he was uneducated about what he was speaking up against. You're speaking up against a man who's against a, a, a government who oppresses the people. All right? Who oppresses the people. And you out here trying to big up yourself like you Martin Luther King. Like you, bro, you are already LeBron James. And this is what I don't be liking. I don't like when people, when they try to play fate woke. Like all these niggas that's just stepping up to the plate because it's popular right now to be to be uh, an activist. It's popular right now right now to, to try to speak up on social justice, social injustice and all that. But when their cards get pulled and they start looking stupid, then they want to get out the goddamn uh, water because it's too damn hot. And that's what LeBron James did. He got his car pulled. He got his car pulled trying to call somebody else ignorant and, un and, and, un and uneducated with the situation, not knowing that you're going against the people, bro. So we know that's where you get your dollars from. We know that's where you get your dollars from. But, bro, don't be no hypocrite. You're already LeBron James out here. How much more credit do you want, nigga? Y'all right? How much more credit do you want? Like, I have no problem with people stepping up on behalf of black people and injustice and stuff like that but i i raise my eyebrow when i start to see too many public figures doing it because too many public figures out here got ways too much to lose to be sitting out here trying to run their mouth on behalf of black people and black problems knowing that damn well they'll fold at the end of the day like when these black uh, public figures came out here talking about Oh, well, we're going to boycott Gucci. We're going to boycott Starbucks and Louis Vuitton and all that stuff. Man, these niggas be in that bitch the next motherfucking week. They only say that shit just for the time being. And then all of a sudden, they go right back to living their normal lives. Alright? They go right back to living their normal lives. So, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. So, man... Y'all got to stop putting too much emphasis on these people who are public figures just because they open up their mouths and just because they want to speak on social injustice and stuff like that. Just because you got a platform, that don't mean that you woke, bro. All right? LeBron James, you already LeBron James. You don't need no Martin Luther King, no Martin Luther King credit, bro. The only credit you need is just on that dang on court. And LeBron James right now is on this shut up and dribble more. Uh, uh, I'm more than just an athlete campaign, and that's that's the reason why he spoke up. So, and then he, if y'all didn't know, he put up a follow up tweet right after that talking about what well, he's not going to speak on it no more. Uh, I think you might want to shut the fuck up. I think you might want to. You know what I'm saying? I think you might want to. And y'all stop putting so much emphasis, like I said, on these public figures. These public figures ain't nothing but dick riders. All right. A lot of them are dick riders. A lot of them are looking at y'all and, and, and going back saying the same shit on their radio show and on their platform that they don't read from y'all small ass Twitter and, and small ass platform. These celebrities ain't nothing but fucking dick riders, bro. You know what I'm saying? These celebrities be dick riders, bro. So stop putting so much emphasis on their ass. So they do need to get burnt the way they need to get burnt. If you see niggas out here trying to act like they stick, they sticking up for social injustice. Oh, you want to jump in that pool? All right, bro. How about we pull your car? Cause you sound stupid as fuck, LeBron. LeBron, you sound stupid as fuck. Now they over there burning up your goddamn jerseys. Now you don't know whether you should go to China or not because there's some niggas out there that's really in the field trying to fight on behalf of 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 a, of, 
of oppression in the Chinese community, nigga. And you over here talking about, nigga, you basically for the government and what they doing. That's basically what you said, bro. So you might want to shut the fuck up. Because this nigga out here, in the, it's niggas out here in the field that don't appreciate that. And them Chinese niggas ain't, ain't fucking with that. I heard I said them Chinese niggas ain't fucking with that. You can't say you stand up for all social injustice, bro, and you ain't for Chinese injustice as well. But this is why I say hold your own nuts. But that nigga LeBron basically was tap dancing for Asian master. That's basically what he was doing. He was tap dancing for Asian master. So he was tap dancing for Asian supremacy. There's Asian supremacy out here too now. Don't get it twisted. White supremacy rules all, but there's Asian supremacy out here too. LeBron ain't want that Asian supremacy check cut. Y'all don't woke my ass up. I thought I was sick. So that's that's what LeBron dealing with, man. If you don't know what you're talking about, bro, if you're not aware of, of what it is that's about to fly off your tongue and you're uneducated, bro, it's okay. It's okay to say that you just don't know. Or it's okay to say, uh, well, I don't have all the I don't have all the details of that certain situation, so therefore I'm not qualified to speak on this. What's so hard about that? What's so hard about that, bro? What's so hard about that? What's so hard about you being LeBron James saying, look, man, I, I don't know nothing about this subject. Let me just hush my mouth. What's so hard about saying you just don't know? But instead, niggas want to want to jump out there like they motherfucking Malcolm X, Bron Jr. 